Now the house here opens to the public this weekend and uh, the studio is open too. So I'm making some signs to go outside here. Though you may have seen a video that I made some time ago called They Made Me A Film Star. <laughs> Well, uh, it was about the film I made with a German production company about Turner in the north of England. And I did say that I was going to show some of the clips from it. So I thought that's what we do. It's quite topical because I've just been contacted by a French producer who also wants to make a film about Turner in the north of England. How come no UK producers want to make a film about Turner? I don't know. Maybe I ought to make my own film. Mm. But first, there's a small matter of the Tour de Yorkshire. I'll get you and your dog. National television. Brilliant. There we go. Thank you very much. In about 10 minutes' time, we've got a wonderful jazz band. We've got one. Yorkshire. What a spectacle and for the briefest moment turns a city that is dominated by cars and trucks and vans into a place fit for people. So where was I? Um, the German film. This is the DVD of the film I made with the German company. Um, uh, two apologies. One is that I'm sorry I can't show the whole thing because of copyright reasons. But they've been very kind and let me show you the bits that I'm in. The other thing is that I'm not technologically adept enough to be able to download this or whatever. So I've had to film it from the television. So it's um, it's not great quality, but the sequences aren't that long in any case. There's three three separate sequences. Um, the first bit where we film in Harewood, this. Tana will become one of Britain's greatest artists. Contemplating his work is an absolute must for landscape painters today. David Steed follows in the footsteps of the world famous role model. When he found out that Tana had drawn in his immediate vicinity in Yorkshire, the idea for the project was born. Lots of places that he went that I, I mean, I'd never even heard of them, even though they were not, you know, maybe quite close to where to where I lived. And um, and it also makes you look at places that you do know in a completely different way, because he may have seen it from a different viewpoint or seen something else in it that I'd never even thought of. I'd lived away for most of my life and it was the landscape that brought me back here. So I was living 300 miles away in Devon in the south of England and I found myself travelling to Yorkshire leaving the family behind and coming up here and painting. It has been 20 years now since David finally returned to Yorkshire with his wife. He seeks out and discovers his motifs in the landscapes of northern England. Uh, we go briefly back to the studio after the Harewood piece and up to Norham Castle. Uh, we stayed in Coldstream, not the best place really, but the landscape around there is beautiful and Norham Castle is well worth a visit. It's, uh, I'd never been there before, so without Turner I'd never have seen it probably. And it's, it's a little bit more difficult to access now I think than it was in Turner's day. The light in the north enchanted and inspired him. Shortly before his death, he will paint Norham again. Turner has already arrived at his radical style, which will make him a pioneer of Impressionism. Scotland is visible from Norham Castle. 
Tano plunged deeply into the ancient remote borderland that is separated by the River Tweed. It's changed a lot since Turner's time. You know, there, there, surprisingly, there are more trees now than there were in Turner's time, but it still is a magnificent building. David Stead finally finds what he's looking for on the Scottish riverbank. This view of the of the cuss is not exactly what what Turner had, but I think it's probably the best we're going to get. And um, it also includes the river, which is lovely because today it's, uh, the the light is glinting on that. And I think the castle really could be fairly incidental in it. I don't think it is the main motif. David Stead always paints with the water that his motifs offer him. River Tweed. The moods created by the light in the north are impressive. They change with the wind, a constant challenge for artists like Turner and David Stead. I don't want to get bogged down with you know, making everything right. It just doesn't work. When you get, you get something that dies very quickly and we, you know, just want to try and get some real life into this thing. Um, and then once you've got it, the trick is to try and keep it. <laughs> um, which may or may not happen, we'll see. The preparatory work Stead does with his motifs on site is essential for his further work in the studio. Tana also draws lifelong inspiration from the sketches he made of the North. I always have doubts. I think if I knew what I was going to paint when I started, then I wouldn't bother painting it because, you know, it's like, it's, it's done in my head. I just want to get some contrast into it. The days spent in Norham's pristine nature are an experience of awakening for the young Tana. When he returns a few years later, he steps out of the carriage and takes his hat off to the ruins of the castle. This is where he began his career as an artist, he says. And, um, and the third part of the film is coming back to my studio where I make a full-blown oil painting for the, for the cameras. So I'll roll that piece now. Back in Yorkshire, in his studio in an old manor, David Stead works on his paintings of Norham Castle. Now I'm largely working from memory and um, I'm lucky in that I do have a very good visual memory so I can bring it to, to painting. Um, everything else is hopeless, can't remember anything else, but I can, I can remember kind of images. And they are, they are kind of seared there by, by drawing, by producing little watercolours or, um, or uh, working with acrylic. And then when I get to the studio, it's quite easy. So I use those as a basis, really just for drawing it out. Um, and I know where I'm going to go from there. I know I'm going to start to paint. David Stead has made a name for himself in landscape painting. It is a genre that not many artists of his caliber engage with today. But he has the necessary talent and contacts in the art scene. Many customers have been loyal to him for a long time and have been buying from him since his time studying fine art in London. Some of it is a reference to what's there, obviously, because otherwise it's not a landscape, but actually it's about, it's about a memory of how it felt and um, it was a very windy day, so this kind of tempo to painting. For David Stead, none of his previous motifs are as closely linked to Tana as Norham. The time has come for a special tribute to the artist, who often placed figures in his landscapes. Just get some kind of sense of a fishing rod in there, that would be great, wouldn't it? Having been to Norham and, uh, and kind of walking in the footsteps of Turner, I'm very tempted uh, to put the fishermen in and I don't normally put um, figures into my paintings but if I put him in 
very loosely. It might work. It might not, but it might. So I'm going to give it a crack and see where we go with it. The fisherman stayed. The painting quickly found a buyer. Tana is a magnet. There we go, that was a busy one, wasn't it? Um, so whilst you've been watching that, I've finished all of the signage and we're uh, ready to open the studio to the public today. I've decided I'm definitely doing a film about Turner in Ripon and then I'm going to follow him on his travels through the north of England. So that'll be coming up. Oh, and I'm going to make a big ink drawing. So that's probably going to be the next film. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Thanks again. Bye.